authoritarian regimes have claimed that the Western colonial intentions stand behind those uprisings in the Middle East and North Africa. What do you consider to be the driving force behind those uprisings? Well, the uh, authoritarian regimes uh, used several uh, justification to continue their grip on power, including this uh, accusation you just made. But um, when you go back to the area and talk to ordinary people in the street, they will tell you that enough is enough. We have been marginalized. We have been abused. We didn't have our freedom. We didn't have uh, an economic opportunity. Uh, for example, in Egypt, 40% of the population were living under the poverty line, less than $2 uh, per day. And uh, you can't blame the uh, colonialism for empowering your own people. You go through the footage of all the demonstrations and the uprisings, especially in Cairo, in Tunisia, and in Yemen, even in Syria, you won't find people burning American flags or protesting against Israel. It was about their socio-economic problems and the lack of freedom and lack of feeling like living uh, as a free citizen in a free society. Currently, it appears that the interest of the rebelling citizens of Middle East countries corresponds to the interests of Western countries. What if in the near future those interests start to collide? Do you foresee such a scenario? Well, it depends on both sides because, for example, if you take the interests of the United States, if we define what are they, they would like the uh, free flow of oil from the Middle East. Uh, safety uh, of this of these shipments and uh, uh, the uh, security of Israel and the uh, so-called friendly nations in the area uh, President Obama offered the big assistance economic assistance to Egypt however if you uh, read the latest news coming from Egypt the Egyptians are resisting any uh, support from the United States, like financial support for democracy in Egypt. They would love to have their own emergence of democratic institutions without backing from abroad. However, the Western countries should start aligning its interests, national interests, with the people, not with the governments, because in the past it was aligning uh, the interest hinging on like President Mubarak doing everything to serve the interest even against his own people's interest. And this was a creation of the despotic regimes. But now if the United States as and the West as democratic forces are backing the aspirations of the people of the area, I don't see or anticipate any clash of uh, interests.